Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Pillow larvas. Pillow larvas are bulbous or spherical or tubular lobes of lava. But they do not form from land-based volcanoes. Instead, pillow larvas form when a volcano erupts underwater, whether under the sea or a lake or maybe under ice. But how are they formed? This is not how a volcano erupts underwater. Take this sea floor, which could be part of a rift valley, as found at mid-ocean ridges, where plates spread apart. This point here, subjected to tensional forces, if we study it in more detail, could look like this in cross-section, the rocks jointed inside. As the crust pulls apart, this joint set is further stretched and widened, allowing magma from below to rise upward, towards the seabed, until at this point here, magma extrudes from the seabed into the cold water. But the lava is very hot, and the sea is very cold. The surface where the lava meets the cold seawater cools rapidly, crystallising instantly, forming a glassy, chilled margin. Further upward injections of magma burst the wall of the pillow lava, forming a new pillow lava, this process repeating over time. When viewed from above, at our point on the seabed, when it undergoes tension, a rupture appears, allowing the magma to escape the ground as lava, forming a pillow lava. Further injection from underground leads to more lobe-like pillows forming from the initial pillow, these having a ropey texture as their crust harden as the molten interior continues to flow inside them. More pillow larvas form as more magma is extruded from below, the younger pillows filling in the gaps between as the new pillows flow over older pillows. All of this can be clearly seen at Strumble Head in southwest Wales. Here, at Porthsycon Cove, when we look at the east-facing cliff, with a person for scale, we see the beach and the sea, the vegetation, and here, forming the cliff face, are bulbous and spherical and tubular pillow larvas, all being Ordovician in age, about 460 million years old. Wow! This is one pillow larva, cut almost vertically, my foot for a scale. If we look more closely at it, we can trace its outline and guess the lowest contact surface, giving us this mass of lava, it's over a metre in diameter. We can see what look like cracks, highlighted here. These are joints formed when the pillow lava cooled, forming these radial joints. Looking at the pillow, we see two main sections, which we can model like this. Remembering the pillow formed under a cold sea, the darker central section has coarser grain sized crystals, whereas the outer section is composed of finer grain sized crystals. This because the outer section cooled first, being in contact with the cold seawater. The crystals formed more quickly, and so are smaller in size. The central section with coarser sized crystals was where magma possibly flowed through the interior of the pillow, so it was hotter for longer, so it cooled more slowly, permitting the growth of larger crystals which helps us confirm that the radial joints are in fact joints formed due to the pillow lava cooling inwards. That's amazing! This is another vertically sectioned pillow lava at the same cove. Its cross-sectional area is 90 centimetres, and if we zoom into it, we see it in profile, with its concave-shaped base, or keel, and its convex upper surface allowing us to conclude that this pillow lava is the correct way up. Further study shows us the radial joint system, and around the outside is the chilled margin, composed of glassy crystalline rock where the hot lava met the cold seawater. An even closer examination lets us see what appear to be holes throughout the pillow, for example, here and here. These are vesicles, now frozen gas bubbles, that were forming as the lava cooled. The gas bubbles, when the lava was still molten, moving outwards from the centre of the pillow, but then trapped in their motion, as some of these straw-like pathways show. The presence of so many vesicles here also indicates that the pillows were erupted in a fairly shallow sea all those years ago. Please do watch the videos in our playlist all about pillow lavas, with examples filmed in southwest Wales and in Iceland. Please subscribe to my channel 
Bye.